The Rewalk Personal Exoskeleton is a wearable, motorized robotic system designed to restore upright mobility in individuals with lower limb paralysis, particularly those with thoracic-level spinal cord injury, SCI. The device facilitates standing, level ground walking, and stair ascent descent by replicating lower limb joint motion through programmable actuators. Engineered to enable independent community ambulation, Rewalk integrates robotics, control algorithms, and biomechanical modeling to produce functional gait patterns in non-ambulatory individuals. The Rewalk personal exoskeleton is engineered to withstand and efficiently transmit complex dynamic loads encountered during ambulation in individuals with complete lower limb paralysis. The device functions as an external load-bearing structure, transferring body weight and motor-generated joint torques through a modular aluminum frame. The primary structural components, including the pelvic brace, thigh, and shank segments, are fabricated from 60U61T6 anodized aluminum alloy and are subjected to combined axial, bending, and torsional loading during gait cycles. Ground reaction forces encountered during heel strike and toe-off are transmitted upward through the shank and thigh segments, which operate mechanically as cantilevered or simply supported beams. Power is supplied by a lithium-ion battery worn in a backpack with an operational duration of approximately 3.5 to 5 hours under typical usage conditions. The hip and knee joints, actuated by brushless DC motors, deliver peak torques in the range of 30-70 Nm, imposing cyclical bending and shear loads on adjoining frame members. Each actuator housing is reinforced with glass fiber, filled polyamide, PA66GF30, which provides dimensional stability and vibration damping. Informed geometry ensures structural components maintain stress levels well below the material yield strength. With safety factors incorporated to mitigate failure, pivot pins and load-bearing fasteners made from 316L stainless steel are selected for their superior fatigue endurance and wear resistance. The system's real-time closed-loop control adjusts motor output in response to sensor feedback thereby regulating internal joint stresses and limiting excessive inertial loads. Additionally, the frame geometry minimizes effective column length in compressive regions to prevent buckling, and padding interfaces distribute pressure evenly across soft tissue, reducing localized contact stress. All materials are selected not only for performance and safety, but also for ease of disinfection using standard hospital-grade wipes containing quaternary ammonium compounds, isopropyl alcohol, or diluted hydrogen peroxide, without degradation of mechanical or aesthetic properties. Rewalk is intended for users with paraplegia, T7, L5 lesion levels, who retain upper body strength and functional hand control. The system is fitted with adjustable components to accommodate a range of body sizes from heights between 160 to 190 centimeters and a weight limit of 100 kilograms. It requires the use of bilateral forearm crutches for balance support. The design prioritizes user safety through redundant fail-safes, such as motor braking, fall detection, and emergency stop features, along with mechanical joint stops to prevent hyperextension. From a clinical perspective, the Rewalk exoskeleton addresses several complications associated with prolonged wheelchair use, including muscle atrophy, cardiovascular deconditioning, spasticity, pressure ulcers, and reduced bone mineral density. By enabling weight-bearing and upright locomotion, it supports improved circulation, bowel motility, and musculoskeletal engagement. The Rewalk device is cleared by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, for both rehabilitation center and personal home community use. This dual indication distinguishes it from several competitors. For example, the XOGT is primarily designed for use in clinical rehabilitation under therapist supervision and includes software-controlled variable assistance. However, it lacks FDA clearance for unsupervised home use. The Indigo exoskeleton, while modular and lighter, weighing 0.12 kilograms compared to Rewalk's 23 kilograms, is limited by a more fragmented user base and narrower community deployment data. Control calibration in Rewalk is individualized through an initial clinical training program, typically lasting 15-20 sessions, where the gait parameters are adjusted based on user capability, injury level, and upper body strength. Following training, users are able to don and doff the system independently in most cases. Clinical evidence supports Rewalk's safety and functional efficacy. A multi-site case series conducted at a National Spinal Cord Injury Center, N equals 12, 
reported no serious adverse events, and demonstrated user tolerance during multiple training sessions. In a separate study involving 22 participants with chronic SCI, 58% achieved walking speeds 0.40 mes per sec, a threshold commonly associated with community ambulation capability, a 2020 meta-analysis encompassing 14 studies and 111 patients including eight rewalk-specific studies, found that 76% of users were able to ambulate independently with the exoskeleton by the end of the training protocol. Mean walking speed was 0.28 mes per second, and device use was positively associated with improvements in physical fitness, energy expenditure, and perceived quality of life. In the context of home and community integration, a longitudinal observational study involving 14 individuals with complete SCI AISA found a median device use of nine days out of 16, with participants averaging 3,226 steps per use period. The primary motivations cited were physical exercise, 74%, social engagement, 20%, and psychological benefit, 6%. Notably, the device facilitated participation in outdoor settings and routine daily activities, underscoring its viability for community-level function. Systematic reviews have documented additional therapeutic outcomes. One review reported improved spasticity control in 38% of patients and enhanced bowel regularity in 61%, with no device-related serious adverse events across evaluated trials. These findings reinforce the rewalk system's role in promoting secondary health benefits in addition to mobility.